Warning, explicit content. Blood, guts, swearing, lots of bad words, adult themes, no nudity though, lots of violence, did I say violence? Viewer's discretion is advised. Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Wasteland 3. We are going to get back to uh, securing a future for the Arizona Rangers. After that crazy ambush, we're going to rebuild, we're going to work for the Patriarch, maybe we'll uh, betray him, who knows. Uh, it is dog eat dog out here. Um, so, guns, bullets, skills, pets, animal companions, all of it. We're going to have a lot of fun. Um, so let's get back into it and uh, see what a kind of adventure awaits us today. All right, to the research level. There are no badges in the research level, but mushrooms, dear God. Hey, Rangers, Brother Goiter calling. Saw that the elevator stopped at the lab level, and I figured I'd give you a heads up. Oh, great. Military used it as a lab back before the deluge, and the nucleus are doing the same now. Trying to find ways to turn themselves all into angels like iridium. Not that they're having much success, but there's still a lot of them down there. Running around doing experiments on each other, so watch yourselves. They may be idiots, but they're powerful idiots. The voltage regulator you need is in the particle accelerator chamber. I'll ping you again once I see you're approaching. Good luck. Start the coffee break. And a coffee break. All right. This vending machine has seen better days. Examine the machine. The spirals are empty except for a small piece of paper tucked away in the back. It's hard to tell exactly which spiral might bring it forward, but it's something between columns B through D and rows 2 through 4. Try to buy the note. Spiral turns and nothing drops. Your guess was too far to the left. Spiral turns and nothing drops. Too high into the left. Okay, four, D. It's too low. Ha ha, leave the machine alone. Davy, I put this note where you said, hope you find it. I saw these freaks put the rad suit in a shipping container marked with the yellow triangle. Good luck, Peter. Warning to staff, our toxic waste storage is overflowing, but research must go on. For now, we're storing it in the shipping container, so be careful opening them without protective gear. Well, that's good to know. Accelerator. 
problem is, the core is lowered into a containment chamber while the PDA runs its cycle. That means you'll need to shut down the accelerator to raise the core. Got me? Now, yep. There's a right way to do this, but the nucleus ain't gonna stand by while you read the manual. So you're gonna have to do it the wrong way by beating on it till it dies. Best way to do that, by my calculations, is to raise at least three of the accelerator's four particle cannons and shut them down. That'll stop the radiation cycle and raise the central core. How do we shut down the particle cannons? You all got guns, right? Jesus. Are there defenses we should know about? service hatches and cut off their reinforcement anything down here we could turn to our advantage Good question. let's see first of all you're not gonna get into the particle accelerator at all without a key card so look around for that oh and I think I saw a radiation suit down there somewhere we didn't want it but you might also down there experimenting with mushrooms. Eating them is supposed to have some crazy effects. Don't know if that means good, bad, or just entertaining. Try and make your own risk, I guess. Oh, and here's a big one. The hydraulic system that raises and lowers the particle cannons and central core is not the accelerator chamber itself. If you sneak around and find it, you might be able to sabotage it in some way. <laughs> Afraid that's all I got, Rangers. Good luck. Thanks for the info. We'll take it from here. I hate you for saying that. So I need the key card. No, it doesn't kill you. Which is nice, I guess. already glowing at my might as well not even worry about it Dude went pop. Okay, those two over. Go get that dude. Or miss. That was weird.
Just gonna wait. Ow. That's right. Ow. That hurt. gonna get a healer you're gonna get a dead I'm slow. Forgot about that. That's supposed to hurt. Oh, shit. Okay. How about that? And that. Pissing me off. Heretic. Oh, it's just gonna shoot the guy that's immune for a turn. Oh, that's not good. It's blocked. I guess it's not a direct fire weapon. That guy's got a lot of armor. damage no wow okay I'm not complaining mind you ow That hurt. Hit me again. Heretic, I dare you. So get a burst off. Yeah. That guy's dead.
I mean, she's at full health. I'm just make sure she gets topped. Wait, it didn't go off. Dumb. Wasted one. And they didn't go off. Inside the shipping container is a military hard case and a big battery that reeks of leaking hydrogen. The slightest spark could blow the built up gas. Near you is a ventilation fan connected to a fuse box. The fan's not running. Gently open the fuse box to check the fuses. Inside the box are three fuses red, green, and blue. Mechanics 8. Carefully unplug them. Microwave cannon. This kit bash weapon fires microwaves that progressively heat up targets and turns them into something resembling your leftover chili. Jim, what the hell were you thinking? Well, Bob, you know how we're not supposed to stand too close to the microwave because of radiation or whatever? Well, I thought, why not turn that into a weapon? If we tune the frequency just right, we... That's not the problem, Jim. What is the problem is that you've taken the only microwave in the whole office. Now, how am I going to heat up my beef ravioli? Not a problem, Bob. I gotcha. <laughs> Hold on. Have you even tested that thing? That's automatic yeah, weapons. I Uh, yep, we're gonna get rid of that. Let's modify homeboy. That's a scope. Let's go ahead and we're gonna do some crafting. So I need a toxic linkage. That adds poison. And we need a magazine. Then long mag. I don't know all the mags. I don't know how to make a long mag. That's fine. Yeah, don't need that. Don't need that. Not get nope. Actually, I can make the bigger one. I should actually just do that.
Mound of shit. This midden heap is made of shit. Decomposing cardboard, random trash, tens of thousands of empty tin cans, and a few human skeletons. Dig around the edges of the midden to see if you can find anything. Each of your senses revolts in horror as you poke the shit heap, hoping for treasure. Your curiosity is rewarded. Do you want to dig deeper? Dig deeper! Your arms turn brown up to the shoulders you feel around for lost goodies. Nausea nearly overcomes you as you ret retrieve more buried, bo buried bounty. You don't feel well. Do you want to continue? Wade into the shit. You plunge in, kicking your way to the center of the pile, covering yourself with rotten trash and centuries worth of excrement in the process. You found something. Also feel sick as a dog, and that stink will never come out of your clothes. Come back after the break, kids, when we'll hear fearless leaders say, Moss and Squirt, greatest threat to glorious motherland. See you soon. Every kid knows real spies need a decoder ring to read secret messages from double agents. Get yours in specially marked boxes of candy-coated Cosmo Nut cereal and be a spy today. <laughs> Hydraulics pump. Faded letters on this machine read particle accelerator main hydration pump. Authorized technicians only. Examine the machine. Looking at the schematics on the access hatch door, you see that this pump is raised and lowers the particle cannon cannons and central core of the particle accelerator during its testing cycle. Right now it appears to be operating at optimal efficiency. Open the access hatch. Inside the hatch is cap port for adding oil to the system and more schematics and diagrams. Mechanic 7. Diagrams aren't helpful, but scrawled on one is a note. Warning, certain c combinations of organic contaminants, even in small amounts, can cause slippage and jamming. In other words, if you just ate lunch, wash your damn hands before oiling. Add random liquids to your from your packs to the port. <laughs> And mayonnaise to the access port. And mustard. Step away from the pump. I need a thousand island dressing. I bet you. Sister Odnight, is that you? I... Oh, uh, uh, who in the name of holy detonation are you? Uh, we're recent converts. What are you doing here, brother? Oh, well, well then. Welcome, novices. I'm Brother Bismuth, and this is my lab, where I study the effects of holy radiation on the beneficial properties of certain species of therapeutic mushrooms. My theory is uh, that if the sacred fire can transform the worthy into angels, what could it do for the common fungi, eh? And the results... Another fungus eater. Fascinating. Want to sell any of this stuff? Sell? Uh, we nucleus have no use for money. The holy detonation gives us all we need. But, well, I suppose I could do something with whatever you gave me. All right. Uh, here are some things you might like. I'll buy those because it removes holy radiation. Ragnashock. This is a bladed weapon. Interesting. Thundershock. Oh, yeah, yeah. Welcome to Encyclopedia Mycology 
Huh. That's a lot of information on these mushrooms. Woo wee, what a lot of violence and a lot of fun and a lot of, uh, you know, just stuff going on. Uh, people die quick. And uh, I don't know, I had a blast. You had a blast, hopefully. Uh, so, you know, shoot on down to the comments. Let me know what your favorite part was or what maybe you're looking forward to in the next episode. And I will see you guys there.